I am Anil Kumar. Let us try to understand the concept of limits when x approaches negative infinity for square root functions as given here. The question here is, let f of x equal to square root of x square minus 2x plus 3 plus x. We need to evaluate limit when x approaches minus infinity for the given function and then we need to explain the meaning of the limit calculated. You can actually pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Let's begin with understanding the meaning of the limit which we are trying to find. So we're trying to find limit as x approaches minus infinity for the given function. Now this limit may exist or it may not exist, right? So both are the possibilities. So if it exists, then what? If it exists, in that case, this limit as x approaches minus infinity for the function f of x will be some value, let's call it L. So it is a value which the function approaches as x approaches minus infinity, right? So that is basically the horizontal asymptote, correct? So, in other way, if the limit exists, then we have actually found the horizontal asymptote for the function as x approaches minus infinity, right? So that is basically the meaning of limit when we are especially trying to find limits as x approaches positive or negative infinity, right? So keep horizontal asymptote in your mind while working for similar questions, correct? Now let's try to figure the solution out. There are a few more things which I would like you to uh, think about before we get into the solution. Since we are talking about square root function and we are talking about limits as x approaches infinity, uh, you need to understand a few concepts. So uh, let's take them before we really find the limit. One of them is, what is square root of x square equals to? Now, if you're thinking that square root of x square is x, then it is incorrect. Square root of x square is, is a positive value always. It is absolute value of x, right? So that is kind of very important to understand. Since in the solution of this, we'll get across definitely square root of x squared, since that term is within the square root, right? Now, we are also talking about limit. So, so now the second question is, so this is my first question, which now you know that square root of x squared is absolute value of x. The second question is, when we are talking about limits, in context to limits, limit when x approaches minus infinity or plus infinity, I wrote plus, so let's talk about this. When we say limit x approaches infinity, what is the value of absolute value of x? And also think about this. Limit when x approaches negative infinity, in that case, what is the value of x? Well, these are very important questions to answer. So, some of you might be really surprised to know that these two limits are different. When we are approaching the value of positive infinity, in that case, we are talking about absolute value of x as x. And when we are talking about approaching the negative side, in that case, absolute value of x is negative x. Isn't that surprising? But most critical aspect of our solution, and many times I find people kind of confused on this. Now, basic reason is very simple, that absolute value of x is defined kind of like this. It is negative of x when x is less than 0, 
and x approaching negative infinity means less than 0, right? So it has to be replaced by negative x. But when x is greater than 0, then it is x or even equal to 0. So that is the definition of absolute value of x. And from here, if I have to replace absolute x, when x is approaching negative infinity, it will be replaced by minus x in the equation. And if I have to replace absolute value of x with positive infinity, x approaching positive infinity, I have to replace it with positive x. So I hope these points are well taken care of. Now, I think we are ready to find the limit of the given function. So let's move on on a fresh page and find the solution of this question. Let's evaluate limit when x approaches minus infinity for square root of x squared minus 2x plus 3 plus x. The first step should be what? It should be rationalization, right? So we have limit of the function as it approaches minus infinity for square root of x squared minus 2x plus 3 plus x will multiply and divide by its conjugate which is square root of minus 2x plus 3 minus x divided by the same thing which is square root of x square minus 2x plus 3 minus x. Now when you rationalize you get difference of squares in the numerators so we can write this as limit x approaches minus infinity so the numerator will be now x squared minus 2x plus 3 minus x squared. Difference of squares, right? And the denominator will be right this one. x squared minus 2x plus 3 within square root minus x, right? You can simplify the numerator and write it as limit x approaches minus infinity x squared x squared cancel we get minus 2x plus 3 and the denominator is square root of x squared plus 2x plus 3 will factor out x squared here right so when you factor out x squared you get 1 minus 2 over x plus 3 over x squared right within square root and here you have minus x now, we have limit x approaches negative infinity. Now, what is square root of x squared? It is absolute value of x. Correct? We have minus 2x plus 3 here. And we have absolute value of x within square root. We have 1 minus 2 over x plus 3 over x squared minus x. Now, Let's look into absolute value of x when x approaches negative infinity. It is minus x, correct? It is minus x. So now, I could write this as limit x approaches negative infinity over minus 2x plus 3 divided by minus x within square root 1 minus 2 over x plus 3 over x square minus x. Is this point clear? So as I explained to you earlier, so we're talking about limit when x is approaching negative infinity. So absolute value of x will be replaced by minus x, correct? So that's what I did at this stage. Perfect. Now, we could take minus x common, right? So, and get our result. We can get limit x approaches negative infinity. Here, if I take minus x common, I get 2 minus 3 over x, right? And here, if I take minus x common, I get square root of 1 minus 2 over x plus 3 over x square within square root and this is negative sign uh, okay uh, I didn't leave space for minus x I'll write it at the end 
So when I take minus x common, so this becomes plus 1 here, and I'll write minus x here. Is that clear? So what we did was that we took minus x common. So if you take minus x common, you get the square root term with plus 1. So I wrote square root term with plus 1 times minus x. Clear? So now you can cancel these two things. Now think about it. If x is a very, very large number, then 3 over x will be 0. 2 over x will be 0. 3 over x square will also be 0, right? So what do you get? So in this particular case, we are left with minus 2 on the top divided by square root of 1, which is 1, plus 1. Is that clear? So what we really get here for the given condition, sorry, plus 2. Since minus x and minus x cancel out, so we get plus 2 over 1 plus 1. So that gives us 2 over 2, which is basically 1, correct? So, so at the end, we cancelled out minus x with minus x, so we are left with plus 2, one thing. Second, limit, when x approaches negative infinity, for minus 2 over x is 0, since x is very large, and also limit, when x approaches negative infinity, for 3 over x square will also be 0, right? Any way where x comes in the denominator, for a large value of x, it is going to approach 0. So that's the answer we get. So our limit is basically equal to 1. Right? So in this particular case, the limit exists. Since the limit exists, we can actually also explain its meaning, right? Getting back to our question now. So let's get back to the question and answer it. So we are supposed to find or evaluate the limit of this function as x approaches minus infinity. We found this to be equal to plus 1. Second, we wanted to explain the meaning of the limit calculated here. Now, as it approaches 1, we can say that as x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches 1. So, we have a horizontal asymptote. y equals to 1. Is that clear to you? So that becomes the answer for the explanation of our limit. So I hope you understand and appreciate how to find limit of such functions and what does it signify. Now it's very important also to remember these things which we started off with. Square root of x squared is absolute value of x and depending on whether you are approaching positive infinity or negative infinity, absolute value of x can be replaced by x or negative x. And then you should be evaluating the limit. It's a key parameter to get the right answers. I hope that helps. Thanks a lot and all the best.